The Return of the Jedi, one more in the Star Wars series that started six years ago. And according to a lot of people, The Return of the Jedi is a fantastic addition to producer George Lucas's Star Wars saga, with a lot more special effects, characters, and twists to the plot than ever before. The movie premiered today across North America, but in some places, including Ottawa, a privileged few got to see it last night. And in the Ottawa audience was 11-year-old Justin Trudeau. He brought his dad along, too. The Return of the Jedi cost more than $32 million to make. 20th Century Fox expects to gross that amount within the next two weeks. And judging by last night's reaction from the audience, the studio probably will. Justin, how did you like the movie? Great. Was it, the best was one, it? it was better than The Empire Strikes Back in Star Wars. At least I think so. Was it what you expected? Uh, no, more. Much more. Neato! <laughs> what did you like most about it? Oh, and at the end when everybody's shooting and stuff. Oh, man, talking about excellence. I saw Star Wars 21 times. <laughs> how does this one compare? Oh, it's the best, the best. And how about you? I thought it was great, really good. The special effects were excellent. He's, he's so gorgeous, Harrison Ford. Oh, <laughs> best actor in the world. He is. Some people are predicting the return of the Jedi could topple E.T., the extraterrestrial, from the top of the box office hit list. And it might when you have people who will wait in line for hours to get a ticket, especially those who get there at 5.30 in the morning. Well, it's his idea. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just, a, it's kind of nice to be the first person in the theater to see something you've been waiting for for so long. And when people like Jaime de Castelvi come to Canada, all the way from Madrid, Spain, primarily to see the movie. Yeah. Would you believe that? <laughs> I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but it's, uh, it's part of the way we feel about it. You know, we wanted to see this movie really strongly. Brian Nordland, CBC News, Ottawa.